Hi guys, this is Julian Eilets PWM5 Solar Charge Controller. It is based on a PIC microcontroller. He also did tests with an Arduino version. And this is Arduino.eu's Arduino version. It's very tiny. And this is my version. I wanted to have it as clean as possible. So I have designed a custom PCB. This is the prototype. And by the way, this is my first LED free soldering attempt. So let's connect it to a 12 volt LED acid battery. The LED pulses are indicating the battery voltage. I decided to use the 8 MHz version of the Arduino Pro Mini, because it only requires about 6 mA. Now let's plug in a power source. As you can see the LED is now modulating. This is indicating that the power MOSFET is now in PWM mode. This means that the mark space ratio is varied according to the battery voltage. So it will never exceed 13.8 volt or whatever you have programmed. In order to program this thing, this USB to serial converter is used. It is connected to the Pro Mini board like this. But now let's start to build this thing. All the files you need to build your own can be found on my GitHub. The links are below. First I have designed this schematic. This allows me to generate proper board files. I also made Gerber files. They allow you to order your own PCBs. Of course I also made my own software. This first prototype though is still based on a Vero board. Its size is 0.8 by 1.4 inches. The connection points for the Pro Mini board are marked. Now we are ready to solder the first components. This helping hand comes in handy for this job. But wait! Will the Dixon charge pump be able to supply enough voltage? The result is a bit low, so I decided to use a logic level MOSFET. I also experimented with different capacitors and switching frequencies. Now let's proceed with the board build. It's a little bit tight, but thanks to the CAT design everything fits nicely. Now it's time to solder the end channel MOSFET. That's it, all components are soldered. Wires from an old ATX power supply are used. And finally they are soldered to the board. There is still a lot of flux on the underside. This is another view from the top side. The anti backfeed diode is very important. Now it's time to solder the connecting posts. Everything is now ready to solder the Pro Mini board. Now we are ready for the first test. Are the PWM signals ok? 244 Hz is no problem. 15.6 kHz also looks ok on the Arduino output. But the signal looks horrible on the MOSFET gate. So I switched back to 2 kHz. This is the maximum frequency which can be used with Julian's MOSFET driver circuitry. This is the finished PWM controller. Now it's time to do some more tests. This is the MOSFET gate signal at 2 kHz. I also use this Arduino power meter for the measurements. This unit is limiting the input current to about 0.3 amps. 
This air compressor is used to load down the battery. How will it react? The MOSFET switch is fully on as soon as the motor is connected. Good. But 0.3 amps are not enough to maintain 13.8 volts. The battery voltage is now rising again. And now the controller is starting to modulate again. Good. The input current limit is now adjusted to about 0.9 amps. As you can see, the mark space ratio is now different. So let's connect the motor again. It's still modulating, but the on peaks are wider. This is because of the bigger input current. These pulses are enough to maintain 13.8 volts, even under load. So everything seems to work fine. Huge thanks to Julian Island and to Arduinet.eu. This is a test with my real solar panels and with a battery load of about 1 amp. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!